Hey, what's up everybody? This is Titan from Titans of CNC. And I'm in my CNC production facility in Rockland, California, USA. Today, I just wanted to talk a little bit about automation. When looking at machine shops, we used to have 100 machine shops with 100 employees. In the future, we'll have 1,000 machine shops with 30 employees. These employees will be highly skilled, highly paid, and running automation so we can make our own products right here in America. There's a few techniques that we use, and I want to explain those exact techniques. If you have a CNC machine and it does not have an automatic loading bar feeder, you can use a bar puller. So this guy actually goes into the lathe turret, grabs the material, pulls the material out an exact amount, backs away, a new tool comes in, machines the part, parts it off, and it repeats the process. With a parts puller, you can simply run as many parts as you can program into the bar of material that you put into the machine. You put a four foot bar into the back of the machine. Let's just say that approximately the parts are about an inch long. So you got about 40 parts that are dropping into your parts catcher. The problem here with running production is if you want to run 40 parts and walk away from the machine, the parts are going to keep dropping every minute and they're going to hit each other and they're going to ding each other. And that is a problem because workmanship and quality is everything. So what do we do? We actually cut a hole in our parts catcher. We went and got this Royal Products Roto Rack. The part drops down through the parts catcher, it hits the conveyor belt. The roto rack is programmed and timed with the cycle time of the machine. Now, with a parts puller, if a piece takes a minute to machine, you can walk away for about 40 minutes and then you have to come back and put a new bar of material in. But what if you have a thousand pieces? What if you have 10,000 or 100,000 pieces? I don't want to walk back to my machine, have it stopped, having to put another bar in manually. So to solve that problem, we go to an automatic bar feeder. With the edge bar feeder, we basically can run day and night. When we lift up the cover, you simply see the bars that I was manually putting in one at a time, you see them stacked. And when the machine finishes running the 40 pieces, the bar feeder grabs another bar, puts it in position, and pushes it right into the machine. And then the machine just keeps machining parts nonstop. Now, all you have to do is simply walk over, double check your part, check your finishes, make sure everything's good. That's how we do production machining right here at Titans of CNC. Boom!